In the last presentation, we saw the construction of JFET and now I will explain the working of JFET. I have divided working of JFET into two cases. In case number one, in case number one, voltage VGS, voltage VGS is equal to zero volts. This means we are applying zero voltage to the gate. And in case number two, in case number two, VGS is negative. This means VGS is less than zero volts. So for case number two, negative voltage is applied at the gate. And for both these cases, voltage VDS is positive. The voltage between the drain terminal and the source terminal is positive. So it is greater than zero volts. And in this lecture, we will discuss only the case number one. The case number two, we will discuss in the coming presentation. In case number one, VGS is equal to zero volts. This means potential of the gate terminal is same as the potential of the source terminal. And because of this reason, the potential difference between gate and source is equal to zero volts. So I will connect the gate terminal with the source terminal. Let's connect the gate terminal with the source terminal like this and VGS is equal to zero volts. So I will connect the ground to the source. The potential of ground is equal to zero volts. So VGS is now equal to zero volts, positive, negative. VDS is greater than zero. It is positive and let's say VDS is equal to some positive voltage VDD. VDD is some positive voltage. So we have a voltage source connected between the drain and source whose magnitude is equal to VDD and the polarity you can see positive negative VDD. The drain is connected to the positive terminal and the source is connected to the negative terminal and because of this reason electrons in the N channel will drift towards the drain. This is very easy thing to understand. We are connecting drain to the positive terminal. Electrons are negatively charged so drain will attract the electrons and electrons will drift from bottom to up and the conventional current the conventional current ID will be developed and this is the direction of conventional current ID we already know there are two types of currents the first one is the conventional current and the second one is the natural current the conventional current is having the direction opposite to the direction of electrons and the natural current is having the direction same as the direction of electrons. We can also define the conventional current as the current having the direction same as the direction of positive charge movement. So this is all about the conventional current and the natural current. ID is the conventional current. The cause of ID is movement of electrons from bottom to up, from source to drain and the electrons are moving because we have connected VDD across the drain and source terminals. Now we will talk about depletion layer. What will happen to the depletion layer when we connect VDD in the circuit? As soon as VDS or VDD is applied in the circuit, the width of depletion layer will change. The width of depletion layer will remain same at the bottom but it will increase it will increase like this at the top. The width of depletion layer will increase at the top but remain almost same at the bottom. I will explain the reason for this. This end channel is providing the resistance to the current flow and we can consider the end channel as this four resistances 
this terminal here is the drain terminal this terminal is the source terminal and let's say VDD is equal to plus 2 volts this means potential at this point is equal to 2 volts and potential at this point is equal to 0 volts and this 0 to 2 volts is divided across these 4 resistances let's say these 4 resistances are same and having the value equal to small r so r equivalent the equivalent resistance is equal to r plus r plus r plus r which is equal to 4 times r and uh, 2 volts is divided across 4 r so we can say across r 0 0.5 volt is divided so when we move from top to bottom then at this point the potential is equal to 1.5 volts because 0 0.5 volts is the drop across this resistance so 0 0.5 subtracted from 2 volts will give us 1.5 volts in the same way at this point the voltage is equal to 1 volts at this point 0 0.5 volts and at this point it is equal to 0 volts so you can see how voltage is divided across the AND channel here the potential is equal to 1.5 volts here the potential is equal to 0 0.5 volts now let's talk about the depletion layer potential at this terminal is equal to 0 volts potential here is equal to 1.5 volts so depletion layer will increase the width of depletion layer will increase because the positive voltage 1.5 volt is applied to the N type material and 0 volt which is less than 1.5 volt is applied to the P type material so the PN junction is definitely reverse biased and when we increase the reverse bias potential the width of depletion layer increases now if we see this 0 volt and 1.5 volt definitely the reverse bias potential is lesser as compared to 0 volts and 1.5 volts so the width of depletion layer will increase but not that much so this was the reason because of which width of depletion layer is more at the top as compared to the bottom now I will move to the next part of this lecture in which we will talk about symbol we will talk about symbol of JFET I forgot to explain this topic in the last lecture so I am covering it here the symbol of JFET is very easy we first make one thick vertical line and to this line on the right side we have the drain this is D representing the drain and then we have the source S the main thing is the gate this is the gate and now we will enclose this inside a circle like this but how we can differentiate between N channel JFET and P channel JFET if you remember the symbols for NPN transistor and PNP transistor then in case of NPN transistor the ammeter current the ammeter current is having the direction from base to ammeter and to represent this direction of current we have a small arrow in the ammeter branch and in case of PNP transistor the direction of ammeter current is from ammeter to base and to represent this we have the arrow in the ammeter branch we will try to follow the same thing in case of JFET symbol in case of JFET symbol we represent the direction of gate current this direction here is the direction of current ID but we represent the direction of gate current in case of N channel JFET the direction of gate current is like this IG is the gate current so in N channel JFET we have a small arrow having this direction and in case of P channel JFET in case of P channel JFET the gate current is having this direction so we have 
arrow like this. So this is how we differentiate between N channel JFET and P channel JFET. Now we will talk about gate current. In this case, this is the direction of gate current IG and it is equal to 0 amps. The gate current is equal to 0 amps because PN junction, the PN junction is reverse biased and we already know when PN junction is reverse biased, the current through PN junction is equal to 0 amps. So because of this reason, the gate current is equal to 0 amps and this is one very important point in this discussion. So this is all for this lecture. In the next lecture, I will explain pinch off voltage. I will explain pinch off voltage, which is very important topic. So this is all. See you in the next one.